Hi guys and welcome back to Love Darts. Today I'm going to be talking about the Target Flexline shirt and the new Target Phil Taylor Generation 7 dart shirt that came out. Um, obviously it shows his 16 times championship, a really really good looking shirt with a football theme. Let's have a look. And here we go. So I've chosen to go with the black, it's a nice simple uh, clear look to the shirt. <clears throat> now the material is much better than previous versions. Um, I'll put all the stats and everything for what exactly it's made of here. Now when I first saw the black compared to the other colours, it did seem to look a little bit more wrinkled when it came originally out of the packet, but they've sort of fallen off as I've hung it up. Um, in terms of flexibility and airiness, it feels a lot better than previous Target shirts. One of the biggest problems that I had with them is that actually when wearing them in summer, they're incredibly, incredibly hot. Um, obviously, this is one of the most important things to make sure that we have flexibility here and there's plenty of stretch in the arm sections here. Now, I'm gonna pick up my darts, have a throw, see how I feel. My favorite shirt currently at the moment is the uh, Winmau Proline, or Winmore Proline, sorry. Um, extremely, extremely good shirt, really, really nice in the summer. It keep, kept me extremely cool. Um, very, very comfortable. I didn't feel any issues. One of the main things I feel about shirts, if you're thinking about your shirt, you're probably not wearing the right shirt. I didn't think about anything with the shirt at all, just was able to play. So let's give these a go anyway. I hope you guys like the new cameraman. Um, I've paid for him, this retired guy um, called Phil. Don't know if he's any good, um, but he reckons he's done a bit of darts from, his, from time to time anyway. Let me know if he's any good with the camera. Maybe I'll keep him on. So, really, really nice give on the shirt. I don't feel any, any hold at all on the throat. Phil, with me? Good, Phil's still with me. Flight came off as well. Another few throws. Terrible. Excellent, there's a 26 for you. Going live just for Alan Jones. One of the main differences I notice with shirts is sometimes you get like a little bit of sort of tightness around the chest section, so I'm just gonna pay particular focus to that as I throw. No, I mean this expands really nicely with this as you're throwing and extending your arm. Whole thing feels really, really comfortable. I'm not a very sweaty kind of person, but I do <coughs> occasionally get a little bit of sweat sort of on the lower part of my back, so I can't feel anything in this at the moment. It feels really nice, light, really light and cool. And 60 on the floor, 60 on the floor. Come on, Phil, follow me. So, there we have the flex line shirt. Now I'm gonna move on to the Phil Taylor Generation 7 shirt. It's not a Generation 7 shirt, it came with his Generation 7 darts. So, this is the Generation 7 shirt. Now you can see, hopefully here, nice 16 time champion, Target logo. I've still got obviously the label on at the moment. Brand new shirt, why not? Pocket there. No button on that, it's just a straight pocket. And there we go. The tailor number and dart theme for this shirt. Really, really nice looking shirt. Let's give this a go. Phil, you with me? Oh, funny, Phil, Phil. Huh. Don't know if his last name's Taylor. I guess with Phil following me, it gives you a true idea of sort of how it looks as you're sort of in motion at the Oggy, which is good. Now, is this shirt done all the way up? Yeah, it is. So you've got a unique collar that you can see in uh, a lot of the new Target players now. Um, don't know quite whether this is considered to be. I mean, it is a collar. 
but whether it's considered to be a formal color, which is what you're supposed to have when you're playing darts, but obviously Target must have got it approved from the PDC for their events. Ooh, 84. So let's talk you through. Now already this feels a lot tighter around here because of the shirt, okay, because of the particular collar. I feel a little bit constricted around here now. I'm thinking about high pressure situations when you start to feel hot around the collar. Well, this could be a little bit more of a problem. Um, and it is a little bit more restrictive in the neck. Now, that might, that might be beneficial in a way because it might mean, Phil, Phil. This way, Phil, come on. Here we go, here we go. Sorry, he's having a snooze. Um, <clears throat> it might be better in a way for some players. Keep your sort of head straight and keep you restricted in that position. I don't think that's a, that's the design of it, but uh, let's try and find a positive in everything. Sixty. So, I was talking about the cross here. Now, it feels a tiny bit more restrictive because this isn't as flexible a material. Um, it looks obviously from me pulling it, but you can see that it's got sort of very limited flex in it there. Now, the arm section here is absolutely fine. They've left plenty of room for bingo wings and everything. Um, so yeah, arm wise, absolutely fine. Material wise, I mean, it feels nice. It's really, really good quality, but for, for actually throwing darts and everything, I think come the summer, I feel really, really, I already feel a little bit sticky, especially around here. This is the worst bit here. Just feels hot around the top section. But, I mean, looks wise, I can't complain. They do look fantastic. If I'm playing though, however, <clears throat> for me, the flex line is a much better option. I'm gonna show you very quickly my Winmore Pro line. That's the shirt that I tend to use. Now, Red Dragon do a version of this as well. Um, it's, it's ever so slightly different, but it's very much the same principle, the same materials, so. So this is the Winmore Pro Line shirt. Now you might be able to see here, I apologize here, this was a darts referee uh, sticker, which unfortunately came off in the wash. Sorry, Jack, about that. But, um, but the shirt is actually really, really nicely designed. I like the logoing here, so you can see Winmore. Now, this was purchased by Darts Corner. Now they also did the printing that you can see on the back. So I've got my surname on the back for the shirt. Got a nice zip pocket here. You can pop your darts or bits and pieces in there. Although I don't actually know anyone who actually uses them. Anywho, um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw this, see if I feel any different now from the, from the pro line. Not from the pro line, sorry, from the flex line. Now, what I can immediately tell you is that this is, is a tighter fit, okay? But because of the flex in it, I don't actually notice it. It does ride a tiny bit more. Um, I do feel myself pulling, pulling them down a little bit more than perhaps I would have thought about before, but um, yeah, feels absolutely fine across here. You'd think that maybe this would make it more restrictive because of the chest section, but because the rest of it is so flexible, no issues whatsoever. Now. A slight byproduct of what I've done here with the printing on the back means that those are solid numbers, so I feel a little bit more. Uh, it doesn't flex quite as much at the back, but it's not really affecting me at all. So, if I didn't have it, it would be better. Phil? Thanks, Phil. So, I'll give one more throw of this. Then I'll show you finally the Red Dragon shirt. Sixty. Finally, let's have a look at the Red Dragon shirt. So this is the Red Dragon shirt. You can see here, got the Red Dragon. It's the hardcore range. Now that looks similar. So it's the same sort of zip. A little bit more on the sides. Now, I don't have anything on the back for this one here, but what I'll notice here, I think, is that I don't have my name on the back of my shirt, so it's gonna feel ever so slightly different. Um, a little bit more flexibility, but 
It would feel exactly the same in the ProLine shirt if I didn't have my name on the back. Why not? So, I do apologise, I did have to cut one section there because Phil fell asleep. Didn't you, Phil? Straight in. 100. So, what are my final thoughts? Now, I'd have liked to have tried a few other shirts. Now, I do have more Target shirts. I do have some custom shirts. But for me, I wanted to show you the Flex line as possibly one of the better shirts that has come out um, recently. The Taylor shirt for me is just gonna be too hot to actually play in. But for me, it's a great looking shirt. I've got the Barney Army shirt. That's obviously a shirt that's gonna be iconic over time. I've got the Phil Taylor 16 time champion football shirt, which I think is gonna be another one. So for me, when I'm talking about actually throwing in a shirt, it's either this, the Pro Line, or the Flex Line. All really, really comfortable, cool shirts. For me, being cool is really, really important. Nothing worse than feeling stuffy and feeling all the pressure and you're just worried about your shirt all the time. I don't want to be thinking about my shirt. I simply want to stand, throw, play, and enjoy. And that's my front door. One of the things I haven't mentioned about this shirt is that I feel you can actually wear it out afterwards. If I'm wearing a dark shirt, I do feel it's sometimes a little bit pretentious with all the branding and everything like that. People don't necessarily know what it is. Is it a football shirt? What is it? So I could wear this shirt and technically go out afterwards. I wouldn't feel quite so bad. Um, it's, it's quite a nice casual looking shirt. Maybe fell over my chair there. Um, it's quite a nice casual looking shirt. So there we go. There's a quick summary of more the usability of the new Flexline shirt and the new Taylor shirt. Like I said, I don't think the Taylor necessarily has to be a display shirt. You can still look great in it. I would probably have to loosen up the, uh, the collar a little bit more to let myself breathe because doing it all the way up to the top quite tight. Also, it's a little bit more restrictive in terms of actually, you know, how the shirt is made, what it's made of, compared to the Flex line, which has a lot of give. Nice casual look to it, nice smart look to it, standard collar. So I think it's a really, really nice alternative to all the shirts that are out there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe if you have. And you can do that by clicking just below. If you've bought a Pro Line shirt yourself, or if you've bought a Flex Line shirt, or any of the shirts that I've mentioned in here, please leave a comment up below. Let me know how you're getting on with yours. I'm going to throw a little bit more with this, see how I get on. I might try. Um, I've got a match coming up later on in the week. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this a throw for the weekend, see how I feel about it. I might use it as my match shirt, who knows? Who knows? Phil, this way. I'll see you soon. And remember, love darts.